This is very, very important to truly learn science and to learn it in different parts of your brain. You need to be able to do hands-on science, plan the experiments, gather the data, set up what chemicals you need, and, and that helps you to understand how they interact and how to run labs. And this is a really important learning experience for everybody. 31. Right, it's gonna go below the freezing point of water now because we have salt in it. As a teacher of the blind and visually impaired, my experience in working with blind and visually impaired high school students in science has been in the past that a blind student would be matched up in a lab group with other smart kids. The other kids would do the work, do the labs and the hands-on experiences, and the, the blind student would be delegated to taking notes, kind of being the secretary for the rest of the lab group. When I got involved with the iLab project, I got involved because I had a student who that wasn't good enough for. iLab was producing materials to make it possible for him to do the work and, and do the hands-on science experiments along with his sighted peers. I learned just along with he, as, as he did learn, that you don't have to be able to see to do the labs. If you have the right materials and the right equipment and the right teacher in the classroom who's willing to go the extra mile to make sure that the blind student is getting everything that they need to get. Assistive technology, and I hate to use this cliche, but it's the first thing that comes to mind. It really broadens the playing field. It gives blind and visually impaired people access to fulfilling their dreams. If they want to go into STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering, or math, assistive technology is going to make that possible. Conductivity uh, experiments that children do in school, usually they have a little meter that lights up different colors, so that wouldn't be appropriate for someone who couldn't see. You can do all that with that one little device. And then the Logger Pro software collects all the data and then you can analyze it. That would be so this the, is the solution? solution, right? Oh, and look that's at that. the probe. And that little slot would allow the solution to go in there so they could oh. measure the conductivity. Wow. Yep. We didn't have that when I was in school. Mm -hmm. Blind students don't have to be benched when it comes to being in a, in a lab course. They can actually do the experiments, record the data, plot the data, and have success in completing the same assignments as their sighted classmates. I, I think something that's really important to remember is that these probes are the same probes used by the sighted students in the class. Everybody's using the same thing. I had a student who went to a specialized high school and the talking lab class would have been perfect for them. They were out in the field in their hip boots every single day collecting data and, and, and collecting samples and if he could have done some of that work out in the field like everybody else that would have been I think very helpful. When you use the talking lab quest with veneer probes a student would be able to do earth science, physical science, chemistry, physics, biology, engineering, all the labs that are available in high school and middle school curriculum. Using the Logger Pro, I, I was just amazed at how easy it was to load data uh, on the XY graph. Also to listen to how the XY graph sounded. So if there was a, an extreme curve, it kind of sounded like an audio roller coaster. And that for me was especially not only useful, but fun besides. People have to realize that just because somebody can't see doesn't mean they can't do lab work. I think we have to raise expectations. And once you raise expectations, then teachers and school districts will realize, well, gee, the students should be doing all the labs, and we're gonna figure out how this can come about. A kid who is blind or visually impaired and who's in a, a regular mainstream school has the same level of curiosity, the same level of awe and openness that any other student who is not blind or visually impaired. So for that student to be able to take that curiosity and that sense of wonder and that sense of searching for a truth or searching for information, with technology like independent science offers. It's making all that possible. It's harnessing that curiosity. It's harnessing that sense of wonder.